Hi, in this short video I want to talk briefly what, about what is called patentable subject matter. In other words, uh, what is patentable? Uh, we had a few recent cases for in, uh, during the last four years that addressed this topic and uh, there is a lot of debate uh, and a lot of uh, uh, changes uh, in the law with respect to this uh, particular aspect of uh, intellectual property law so I want to address it briefly and hopefully it will help. Uh, starting in 2010 we had a case called Bilski and uh, which which disclosed a method of uh, uh, hedging risk so it was a financial uh, uh, type of uh, transaction which uh, which was considered to be patentable uh, and anyway uh, the the method was found unpatentable as being an abstract idea by the Supreme Court in 2010 uh, the, the, uh, so so this was a process a method uh, a method a process uh, directed to some sort of financial transaction for particularly for hedging against risk uh, and was not tied to was not tied to a to a computer or a computer platform uh, and was held to be uh, initially by the federal circuit as uh, lacking machine or transformation and then by the supreme court as being just an abstract idea uh, then uh, after that in uh, 2012 we had a case uh, called prometheus and that uh, that patent covered um, a method of uh, determining the, the concentration of a particular drug uh, in the blood of a patient. Uh, that patent also was held invalid uh, by, by the Supreme Court as being, uh, as being a law of nature. Uh, the relationship between a, a certain uh, type of elements in the blood of the patient and that particular drug uh, was considered to be a, a natural relationship, uh, therefore a law of nature, and anything that the uh, patent uh, added to that law of nature was considered to be just routine experimentation, routine uh, practice by, by uh, 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 any physician, and therefore because no uh, inventive concept was added to that uh, law of nature, the, the patent was, uh, was held invalid. Uh, next, in 2013, we had a case called Myriad, uh, which uh, disclosed and claimed uh, uh, isolated genes and, and uh, uh, synthesized uh, genes uh, related to breast cancer. The isolated gene was, was held to be, uh, the claim directed to the isolated gene was, was uh, held to be invalid, that so an isolated gene is not patentable. Uh, while the synthesized gene was was held uh, to be patentable as uh, as being a composition of matter that does not exist in nature uh, next in 2014 uh, we actually expect the decision uh, this month in june 2014 from the supreme court in a case called the cls uh, bank cls uh, corp uh, and this, this patent is directed to a method of uh, conducting financial transactions using, uh, using what, is, what, it, what they call a, a shadow record. Uh, the Federal Circuit was all over the place in a way in this case. The, uh, so the, the, the case is now to the Supreme Court and we expect the decision this month. This is directed uh, so uh, the, 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 uh, as such to a, to a computer platform uh, so therefore it's going to impact all the computer platforms and software based uh, applications for patent and uh, this decision will have an impact a great impact on all these applications and the validity of all issued patents in this uh, this area of the, of the technology uh, so therefore when designing a patent uh, prosecution strategy or when trying to assess the validity of an ex existing patent, these decisions will have to be carefully considered by, by uh, your patent attorney. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.